Welcome back to Crimson and Cream Machine's 12 Teams in 12 Days as we plug away at Oklahoma's 2012 football schedule. Right now we're going to take a quick look at Oklahoma's November 10th opponent, the Baylor Bears. Last year everything worked out just perfectly right for Baylor to get their first ever win against the Oklahoma Sooners in football. Overall the Bears are 1-20 against Oklahoma, but last year off of a 10-3 season they were able to dismantle the Sooners 45-38 in Waco. This year, however, offensively, Baylor is totally revamped. They lost their, their leading rusher, their leading receiver, and then they lost Heisman Trophy winning quarterback Robert Griffin III. Everything starts over for Baylor this fall, which puts a lot of pressure and a lot of spotlight on running back Jared Salubi, who in 2011 averaged 5.7 yards per carry. Everything for Baylor offensively starts with the rushing game, and therefore Salubi will be in the spotlight for every defensive coordinator that the Bears face this season. As good as the Bears were on offense in 2011, they were very mediocre on defense. In fact, Baylor finished eighth out of the 10 teams in the Big 12 in scoring defense, and they were dead last defending the pass. The Bears do return eight out of 11 defensive starters for 2012, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which side of the coin you want to look at. Hard hitting safety Sam Hull is a guy that you want to keep an eye on on that side of the ball. Hall last year was one of Baylor's leading tacklers. The fear factor for this game is this starts a final stretch of the season for Oklahoma in which they have two games at home and two games on the road. The Sooners will face the Bears and the Cowboys at home or the final four weeks of the season and will take road trips to West Virginia and to TCU. Oklahoma has to remain focused and finish strong in order to accomplish their goals in 2012. SB Nation's CrimsonandCreamMachine.com. I'm Matt Hofeld.